Welcome back to our channel, Nature Explorers. Today we embark on an exciting journey to learn about one of the most fascinating and gentle creatures of the sea, the manatee. Manatees are mammifers, and there are three species of manatees, the West Indian, the Amazonian, and the West African manatee. They inhabit freshwater rivers, estuaries, and coastal waters with warm temperatures. They can be found in regions such as Florida, the Caribbean, the Amazon Basin, and the rivers of West Africa. Manatees are large creatures, growing up to 13 feet long and weighing around 1,500 pounds. Despite their size, they are remarkably graceful swimmers, capable of reaching speeds up to 15 miles per hour. These amazing creatures are migratory animals. They travel significant distances in search of food, warmer waters, and breeding grounds. Some populations undertake long migrations, while others stay within a specific range. Manatees are social animals. They often gather in groups called aggregations or herds, consisting of both males and females. These gatherings provide opportunities for communication, mating, and sharing warm water areas. Now, let's take a closer look at the anatomy of a manatee. These manatees have unique facial characteristics. They possess a whiskered snout, small eyes, and large, flexible lips, which they use to graze on vegetation. Their unique, paddle-shaped tails are perfectly designed for navigating through water. As herbivores, manatees primarily feed on seagrasses, aquatic plants, and other vegetation. They use their strong lips to graze and strip leaves from plants. In some cases, they may also consume small amounts of algae or freshwater plants. Speaking of diet, did you know these gentle herbivores consume up to 10 of their body weight in plants daily? And believe me, that is a lot. Because of this, they spend several hours a day grazing to meet their dietary needs. Luckily, these animals have a slow metabolic rate compared to other mammals of their size. This allows them to conserve energy and survive on their relatively low-calorie diets. Manatees communicate through a series of vocalizations, including chirps, whistles, and squeaks. These sounds are used for various purposes, such as social interactions, mating calls, and maintaining contact between mothers and calves. Manatees have an average lifespan of around 40 years in the wild, although some individuals have been known to live longer. Factors such as habitat quality, availability of food, and threats from human activities can influence their lifespan. Unfortunately, manatees face numerous threats in the wild, such as boat collisions, habitat loss, and pollution. Because of this, conservation organizations and dedicated volunteers play a vital role in rescuing and rehabilitating injured or orphaned manatees. Once the manatees are nursed back to health, they are released back into the wild. This is all done to ensure their survival for future generations. There are several ways we can all make a difference beside conservation organizations. Firstly, boaters can be vigilant and follow designated speed zones to prevent collisions. Additionally, reducing pollution and keeping waterways clean will benefit not just manatees, but the entire ecosystem. Remember, manatees are fascinating creatures that are highly dependent on healthy aquatic ecosystems. By supporting conservation efforts, spreading awareness, and respecting their habitats, we can contribute to the long-term survival of these remarkable marine mammals. Well, that wraps up our incredible manatee adventure. I hope you enjoyed learning about these majestic creatures as much as I did. Stay tuned for more exciting nature explorations. Until next time, keep exploring and cherishing our beautiful planet.